Here's how to modify your sensor settings to meet the needs in your Smart Loop system space. To modify your sensor settings, first go to the Groups tab, then select the dimming button for the group you want to edit. Then press the sensor icon. Now let's explore the options available for daylighting. Press the photo sensor toggle to activate daylight sensing. To optimize the balance of electric light with daylight, the daylight enabled auto mode should ideally be set when ambient light conditions are relatively low, such as early morning or nightfall. Occupancy mode allows lights to turn on when someone enters the space or turn off when there's no motion detected in the space. Manual override mode returns the sensor to auto off mode after no motion is detected for the set amount of time. It's set to infinite by default, so lights stay off until told otherwise. Vacancy mode requires manual activation of lights, but will automatically turn off lights when no motion is detected. To adjust how your lights will behave when motion is no longer detected, you can modify the hold time and standby time. Scroll standby time to edit the standby time at the standby level. Scroll standby level to adjust the dimming level of lights as they enter standby. If you are experiencing false ons, the sensor sensitivity may be too high. You can reduce this so the sensor requires more major motion events to be triggered. Then adjust the sensitivity of the motion sensor by scrolling the sensitivity percentage settings. To start designing your smart loop system, click on the video or go to keystonetech.com for more information. That's Keystone. Light made easy.